Okay, so now your attorney has the contract, right? You're negotiating through your attorney review and it's about to be over, right? The next thing that's going to happen after it ends is you're going to have your home inspection. So you're going to choose a home inspector. We're going to make an appointment with the seller's realtor to let them know that we're coming and we're going to go to the home inspection. We have typically, unless it's been changed, 10 days to have our home inspection. Once we have our home inspection, which typically the home inspector comes and you bring your measuring tape and I stand there and we measure the whole apartment and we plan out your furniture because that's what happens. For some people during the home inspection they bring in the contractor, the guy to do the floors, the woman for the window treatments, however that is because it's most of the time it's me, the home inspector and you and there's no seller there, there's you know we're by ourselves and you're kind of able to get comfortable. So at the end of the home inspection, the inspector is going to walk you through any issues. He's also going to tell you the things that you don't really know. And especially if you're a first time home buyer, where's the water shut off? So imagine you have some terrible problem and you can't shut the toilet. You can run over and you know where the water shut off is. Super important because um, that's happened to me. Also, your, your AC has a filter. Now, you might not know that because I didn't know it and I fried my AC, but you're supposed to change the AC filter. They tell you to change it, I think, every month. Now, every month is a lot, and um, if you can change it every month, that's great. However, if you changed it out every six months, it would be better than me who left it for two years and made it into a block of ice. So you learn things, right, that are important from the home inspector, and then if there's any issues, he's going to send you over a report we're going to be able to use that report. It'll go to the attorney to make a list of things that we can ask the seller to, to repair. But important to know, some buyers think that it's a negotiation tool. It's only for things you can't see. If you went to a house and the floors were totally scratched up, they were scratched up when you bought the house. So you don't get to ask. Now, you can ask but that seller can say no. However, it's for hidden defects. So if there was, you know, a big horrible thing underneath the rug, or if the dishwasher is not working, or the microwave light is out, or the burner on the stove doesn't operate, those things we didn't know about when we made the offer and we get to ask the seller to fix them. Just remember, the seller, depending on who the seller is, can say no. And then you ultimately have a decision to make. Do you want to move forward? You know, most of the time with a condominium, the issues are not that big. But, you know, in a house, you can come up with a laundry list of items. So home inspection is super important. And I'll be there with you with the